Yes, we're back with another, another rider, another episode. Today we have two love, a lovely couple from India and we've been talking about the caste system. Now what's interesting, they're different castes and they're going to explain to us so we can learn, obviously it's all about learning, excuse me, about what the after effects are for in marrying across caste. So nice to have you here today, Sally and Bob. So can you explain what, what is a caste system and how does it work? Yeah, sure. Uh, so there's a caste system that's followed where we come from, which is India. There are upper castes and then there are lower castes and there are multiple other castes in between. And according to the system, the highest class of the caste is the Brahmin, which is what Bob is Your husband. Your husband. Yes. Okay. And I belong to the lowest, which is Essie. Oh, is it? Yeah. Is that like what? Excuse the term. Is that what they call untouchables? They used Pretty to much. call that. Yes. So, really? Yes. Yeah. So historically speaking, you basically had the uh, people that 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 uh, pray to God, and and they were the superior caste, and then you had uh, what what you call as Kshatriyas. They were the warriors essentially. So is that soldiers. Like the Sikhs. No, they're the soldiers. Okay. Um, and then you have merchants that, that, and they were another caste altogether. And then you you had these professions that's required in society, like barbers and and people that clean your gutters, and and they were considered untouchables and people that basically butchered meat stuff like that. Uh -huh. So interestingly, what happened is, especially in, in Sally's case here, you you had people also be spies between. Uh, multiple kingdoms back in the past and eventually people lost their identity because they, they were sort of being portrayed as barbers when they were actually like warriors mm -hmm. and and that led to you know lost of translation of pe when, when people emigrated and, and they basically uh, thought they were a caste when they were not anyway mm -hmm. so yeah into into our uh, my case I guess um, I, I, I am a, a, a Brahmin which is um, an upper caste and yeah like mm. she was saying she 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 um, have identifies as a lower caste mm. so yeah you were saying how yeah. how does your fat how does it because obviously you, you're married yeah uh -huh. yeah so how does the inter the wedding how did the wedding go oh that's a very interesting question <laughs> that's a very interesting question so it was basically a registered marriage we didn't have a grand ceremony Did they have of any a five sort. Day thing, kind of. No, we, no. We, we, didn't know we, we pretty much just like signed some papers and went about with our day. Yeah, Bob sure. had a meeting and I basically just hung out <laughs> and went back home. I think I did more work on that day. <laughs> <laughs> does, does, and then what did your family say about that? Oh, well, don't they know? <laughs> You're asking. They don't know yet. Really? <laughs> when we, did you we, get married? Here? Yeah, yeah like pretty much. Like, a I month think. Ago? No, like two weeks ago. Two weeks oh. ago. It's getting saucy out here. <laughs> you haven't told anybody. Sally, I know you must have told somebody. I guess you count. Yeah, yeah. Well, people that we work with know. Mm. Some of our friends know. Are they from India as well? Yeah, they from are. From your village area or your city? Uh, they, they are from our city. No, the people we... that we work with, are, no, they're from the UK. So, okay, so your mum, Bob, hasn't isn't trying to arrange a marriage for you no I, she well she knows about um sally here yeah, she, she, she's she's accepted the fact that I'm, I'm probably going to be with her for the rest of my life she she understands that but she, she wants to sort of make this official by getting us back home and getting us married and i think that's a huge invest in investment in time so we, we just so took you, a shortcut you won't tell them that you're already married if they if you go home and they say all right we're gonna do the wedding we're not happy, but we're going to support you in this. Yeah, You're going to go, oh, great, we can get married now. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> that's, that's for the optics, isn't it? Yeah, that's to, to, to be fair, we are due a ceremony and like this, technically that's how it works. You have the ceremony and then you just get your marriage registered. Interestingly, so, Sally here hasn't told her parents for the past, what, 15 years now, 10 years now? Really about you? Yeah, no, Sally's a bit behind. So wait a minute. What? What I? You know what? I don't understand Sally here. If you uh -huh. have to explain this, please. Yeah, sure. If you're on the lower, if your cast is the lowest, uh -huh. you're going to be elevated up, whether so, they accept it or not. As in the rest, the other, the higher class cast, 
surely your parents would be like, well, you know. Yeah, it, so it, so that's where uh, things get interesting. I mean, that's that's probably how I thought like things worked when I was younger. But that's given the same I had the same that question, I'm honestly. older and wiser, yeah. So just to give you a bit of a background, I where my house is located, it's in a predominantly upper caste neighborhood, if you know what I mean. Yeah. And because of the fact that the people know that we belong to a certain caste, there have been incidents and essentially occasions where our caste has played an important factor in how they have spoken and treated us. Uh -huh. And even for petty grievances or major grievances or even for no grievances whatsoever. Essentially, they have a problem with uh -huh. anything and everything. And it's it's not just like my So neighbors. you have to fight a lot. Maybe not you, but your brothers. You have Your brothers so, have to fight. It, it's mostly been my parents. We, I mean, I have been away from this for a lot. But I'll tell you what, it's, it's, it gets more relevant once and you start, um, you know, communicating to, in the government, for example. Say if you want to file a police complaint, right? Mm -hmm. Something's got to happen to you. They're going to ask you what your caste is. Why? I don't know. <laughs> and if, I don't know. Seriously, I don't. It's but, not relevant and I personally I guess, have experienced like a prejudice against this, even in school and college when, yeah. like the principal of our college essentially found out about the fact that he a brahmin is going out with yeah. a lower caste girl and yeah. she had a conversation with him and yeah she like straight up came to me and, and she said and she is a brahmin obviously right um and she straight up comes to me and she's like do you know what you're doing and i said yeah no yeah well, what's happening she's like do you, do you you need to learn more about your your people you need to learn about your um, um, where you come from. I'm like, dude, I, I've got no idea yeah, what yeah. you're talking about. What are you on about? And then she says, "Well, do you know that she's from a lower caste?" And I said, "So what?" And it, she, she, she wouldn't stop looking at me for like ten minutes. She's just like, "Yeah." It, 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 there's tradition, a disconnect. There's tradition. a huge disconnect between yeah. us and them. You know, the older generation sometimes. Ah, oh, that's a good point there. So the younger generation. So, so Sally, you're in fear of telling your parents. But your parents, your parents have put themselves in that higher class area. So why would you be in fear? Uh, can you say that again? Sorry. If you're nervous uh -huh. about telling your parents about being married or being in a relationship with mm -hmm. your husband now, with Bob, why would you be in fear if your parents specifically it's... put themselves to live in Bob's people's area? Okay, so. It's 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 not so much about fear. In India, when two people get married, it's not just the two people; it's the coming together of families. Uh -huh. And there, I mean, like although Bob's mother has been like supportive in like many ways, she has been vocal about the fact that. Bob's dad might not take part in any of the festivities or yeah. ceremonies. But but I'll tell you what, like I'm, I'm, I've got a question. I mean, I, I, maybe I've forgotten the answer for this. But generally, right, like uh -huh. leave you and me aside. If if somebody from a lower caste gets married to somebody from an upper caste, mm -hmm. shouldn't the people from a lower caste sort of be like, I, don't, I guess, happier that a a, a a person from their family now yeah. is getting uh, acquainted with somebody from an upper caste? Therefore, you know, the honestly, they're of more worried well. because but, of the fact that. They've constantly been exposed to like biases and prejudices all of their life because of their caste. And because of the fact that a lower caste like girl is now going into a family where... So you're saying life doesn't get better even if you get married to somebody? Yeah, you, can because I, people still look down on you. Can I put out something? It's yeah. a bit like black and white here. Yeah. Whites have always been very racist. Not all of them, but a mm -hmm. lot of them, let's say. Because I can't meet, I've never met a black person in England who hasn't experienced racism. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Yeah. yeah. But, so, if you marry, if someone marries in, mm -hmm. there's a thing like, don't complain when they start to call you the N-word or they start to do this and that because you put yourself with them. Pretty much. You, yeah. you, 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 you know you should stay with us, but if you really want to go over, that's your business. Yeah, that's a good question. But don't complain. Yeah. yeah. Do you understand? So, that's the same yeah. thing I'm getting. That's, that's, that's pretty much the same yeah, thing. Yeah. You're so, not going to... You're not gonna have everyone sort of pay attention to this, but but when somebody does, they really make you feel it. They yeah. really make you feel it. 
and and uh, yeah. she's got some really interesting stories by the way about how even in the united states where this system isn't present the caste system isn't present they like, carried it over yeah you've got enough asians that 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 are in key decision that they in a workplace in a workplace yeah that still sort of dig into a person's past to sort of find out what caste they are to see if they want to be hired it, it gets a bit while sometimes when you think about it i reckon 30 a generation 20 years i reckon 20 to 40 years no one will really be bothered that much there are still a lot of people that are into this youngsters like yeah yeah maybe in no. india but not so much in the west because a lot of cultural things go off people forget mm-hmm. they're not interested do you see what i mean yeah uh i i i think it's going to take a lot longer than mm. that for people to completely forget about the existence of that i think in a lot of ways it, it, it this this doesn't get forgotten if the governments involved the reason why this is brought up over and over again in india because is like if if, if you're applying for an admission to a college you've got um mm. a reservation system basically where 80% of the seats are reserved to brahmins and like 20% really yeah yeah it's it's like it's so so that's really just a proper caste system yeah, so they shouldn't complain about the british then <laughs> i'm sorry i'm sorry that's that's like an apartheid within a do you say me we kick you kick out the british rightfully so and then you go along with that he may have exaggerated the numbers there but but, but, but it's, it's still a yeah, caste system, system. Yeah, there, there is a caste system so but, no matter but, how you how much you try to forget about it like even if you are born 20 years down the line if the government still imposes a caste system I, okay you, you this, are this, is, this is the point where i want to add yeah. so again like i i'm not expecting like bob to be fully aware of this but yeah. i do have some family that are from the village from essentially they are lower income households from the suburbs that come into the city looking for education looking for a job that really benefit from the system because of the fact that they don't have the same quality of education and the system sort of favors them and just gives them that little boost that they need to get ahead in life mm, i understand and because of the fact that they come from the suburbs and like places like where mm. the caste system is a lot more prevalent and you feel it you are mm. they are suppressed for most of their life even when it comes to opportunities and education so mm-hmm. just yeah it's it's there for a reason it's it not is. having said that there are also tick heads that that don't need that extra push that mm. live in the yeah. urban areas that sort of use the mm. fact that they're of a lower caste to to get into that 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 quarter which can be annoying. Yeah. Um, we've come to the end of the journey. I would have loved to continue this conversation, but I can't. But I've got one question for you too. Yeah. And I really thank you for this. It's been a great insight into your culture, which is really interesting. And I, and I did love India by the way when I was there. And it's this. I understand there's issues between Muslims and Hindus mm-hmm. in your country. Are the issues between Muz- and uh, muslims and hindus more of an issue than the caste system um i mean it's not comparable because yeah, yes. like because the extent of it changes i i mean there's a lot of communities where muslims and hindus coexist like extremely peacefully we did like work with this person who was a muslim but he knew more about the bhagavad gita which is essentially a sacred text in the hinduism and he knew it like i don't know a single word of it and he being a brahmin like from a religious past doesn't know a single word of it but the muslim man did and but there are other parts where there does exist like this communal rift but this is mostly caused by outsiders with like political agendas mm-hmm. that are sort of causing this divide for their own benefit it's weird it's, in india man you you've got like you've got head but you've got different dimensions of head so you you're in when you do um or, or dislike really when you when you're doing you know sc versus brahmin that's one dimension but you when you do brahmins versus hindus when I mean, brahmins versus muslims that's another dimension altogether somehow you can't sort of have any logical operations to compare between what's worse it, it works in a weird way but it, but it's there how would you solve this hey how would you solve this whole issue uh, well but i don't know economic upliftment and then just getting rid of the existing government or having a more sensible government i think 
one primary problem at least personally i may be wrong here but there is no criteria for who can contest in elections so even if a yeah, person is uneducated or they have no idea about the world if they have an entire rap sheet of cases and like of like murders and rapes against them they can still contest in elections there is nothing really stopping them but having some sort of criteria in place i guess education ha- right yeah like having more education. like educated people up education there everywhere. like leading mm. the people down here that would maybe mm. make a difference but you did say the indians in america are still doing the same thing and they've got wealth yes yeah yes so that's indicate it's more of a problem than we would like to believe yes it is it you you only hear about this when you have conversations with people this is not something that gets talked about in the mainstream media when, when you see a white person do you know that they're racist you don't know like it's just something that they're ingrained with right like only when you have when you when you deal with them on a personal level you sort of understand that and just even the half the people that we meet they seem to be really fine unless you sort of it i was to a topic where they sort of ask you about your caste and and once you tell them and they just don't want anything to do with you and even if you refuse to answer that they keep digging oh, till yeah, you just like what about if you just say oh, no i was an orphan yeah i don't i don't think they, they like still that. keep digging <laughs> they still keep digging they just want an answer out of you they they just like won't take no for an answer yeah because it's just unbelievable that somebody might not know or somebody might not choose to partake in this it, you you're not allowed to have a neutral opinion Well, let's hope that you too are the way of the future. Thanks so, a lot for this interview. I truly appreciate it. Likewise. Okay. Likewise. Thank you. It was great talking to you. We hope that episode enhanced your life. We post an interview every day as well as vlogging on our social media channel. Don't forget to subscribe to get our latest episode.